In this video I'm gonna show you 10 tips to fix any Fortnite crash in Season 9 including the Unreal Engine 4 crash or Fortnite not opening error. So make sure that you watch this video till the end and do all of the steps if you want to fix your game. Before we start, subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment if this worked for you or if it didn't and I'm gonna try and help you. The first step is to open this PC. Open the local disk where you have Fortnite installed, so for me it's local disk C. Open the program files folder. Open the Epic Games folder. Double click on Fortnite. Double click on Fortnite game. Open the binaries folder and open the Win64 folder. Now double click on BattleEye and double click on uninstall BattleEye.bat. It says would you like to uninstall the BattleEye service from your system, click on yes, click on yes again and it says that the BattleEye service has been uninstalled. Click on ok and now double click on install BattleEye.bat and click on yes. Now what you want to do is go back to the Win64 folder and double click on easy anti-cheat. Now open the Easy Anti-Cheat Setup, click on Yes, and click on Repair Service. This should finish in about a couple of seconds, and there it is. It says it's installed successfully, and click on Finish. You can now close this folder. If you're having high ping in Fortnite, then no ping will fix that. It's an application that lowers your ping by letting you choose from servers around the world, including the USA, Germany, and more. Click on the link in the description to download it, sign up, choose the server that has the lowest ping for you and then just play Fortnite. This has lowered my ping from 150 or plus to only 20 ping in Fortnite. So click on the link in the description and download it. The second step is to open this PC again, go to local disk C again, go to program files, go to epic games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, and Win64. Now scroll to the bottom of the folder and you should have these four applications. What you want to do is double click on the first one, for, so for me it's Fortnite Clan Win64 Shipping, right click on it, click on properties and go to the compatibility tab. Now tick the run this program in compatibility mode for a box and select Windows 8. Once you do that, tick the Disable Full Screen Optimizations box and you can also tick the Run This Program as an Administrator box. Just be careful because this may cause Fortnite from not opening and if Fortnite doesn't open for you, then just go back to the properties and untick the box where it says Run This Program as an Administrator. I'm not gonna tick that, but you can try it and see if it works for you. Now click on Apply and click on OK. Now do the same steps to the Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping BE, Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping EAC and the Fortnite Launcher. Once you're done, just close the folder. The third step is to open the Task Manager and you can do that by right clicking on the taskbar and click on Task Manager. You can also open it by typing Task Manager in the search bar. Now what you want to do is close any application that is the cause of Fortnite crashing. So for example, that may be lightningservice.exe, OEM, MyColor2, CellLED2 or some other executable file that causes Fortnite to crash. Just search for it and if you find any of those files, click on it and click on end task. Once you do that, you can close the task manager. The fourth step is to click on the search bar and type registry editor and open it. Click on yes and now what you want to do is click on the arrow next to each key local machine then click on the arrow next to system so expand it now expand current control set expand control and find the graphics drivers folder okay so there it is now right click on it click on new and click on the word 32 bit value you want to name the new key TDR Delay and click on enter. Now double click on it and make sure that the value data is zero and the base is hexadecimal. 
and now click on OK and you can now close the registry editor. The fifth step is to open this PC again, go to local disk C, go to program files x86, open the Epic Games folder, open the DirectX Redis folder and double click on dxsetup.exe. Now click on yes, accept the agreement and click on next. Click on next again and wait for it to finish installing. Once it's done just click on finish and close the folder. The next step is to open the Epic Games Launcher and once you open it click on settings, scroll to the bottom, click on Fortnite and make sure that the additional command line arguments box is ticked. And now paste the code from the description in here. It should say use all available cores, no splash, land play, no limit client ticks, no texture streaming and preferred processor. Just be careful that if structures or textures aren't loading in Fortnite for you after this, what you want to do is just delete the no texture streaming line. Once you're done, close the Epic Games Launcher and restart Fortnite. The next step is to click on the search bar and type device manager and open it. Now what you want to do is click on the arrow next to display adapters and right click on your graphics card. So if you have two graphics cards, what you want to do is right click on the first one, click on update driver and click on search automatically for updated driver software. And it says the windows will search your computer and the internet for the latest driver software for your device and if there's a newer driver then it will automatically install it. Now do the same for the second graphics card and once you update the driver for that graphics card you can close the device manager. And the next step is to open Fortnite and open the in-game settings. Now go to the video tab and set everything to off or low. So set the shadows to off, set anti-aliasing to off, Set textures and effects to low and post processing to low. Turn off the vSync and turn off motion blur. If you have the option to allow multi threaded rendering, then turn it on. Also, you can turn down the 3D resolution and set it to around 60%. You can set the window mode to windowed full screen or just full screen. And once you do that, click on apply. And you can now play Fortnite. The ninth step is to click on the search bar and type reset this PC and open the reset this PC system settings. Click on get started and with this you can reset your PC to an earlier version where Fortnite worked and you won't have to delete anything so no files will get deleted from your PC. Once you reset your PC you can turn on Fortnite and see if it works. And the final step is to just verify the game. So open the Epic Games Launcher, right click on Fortnite and click on verify. Another tip is to click on the search bar, type device manager and open it. Now click on the arrow next to display adapters, so expand it and right click on the integrated graphics card. So if you have a laptop then you most probably have an integrated graphics card and it's the Intel one. So what you want to do is just right click on it and click on disable device, click on yes and you can now close the device manager. Now launch the game and open it. Once you open the game, you can turn on the integrated graphics card by going to the device manager again, going to display adapters, right click on the integrated graphics card and click on enable device. You don't have to enable it again once you start Fortnite, you can just leave it as disabled because Fortnite is using your Nvidia or AMD graphics card because the integrated graphics card is very slow so you don't basically need it. You can just turn on the Nvidia or the AMD one and don't worry it won't mess up Fortnite. An additional tip is to disable your antivirus and then verify or reinstall Fortnite. Your antivirus may find some files from Fortnite as corrupted or as viruses and the antivirus will quarantine them. What you want to do is just disable your antivirus or uninstall it and verify Fortnite. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment if this tutorial worked for you or if it didn't, and I'm gonna try and help you in the comments.